Hey parents, Mr. Lacefield here with the fourth grade unplugged um, week one, day two activities. Uh, just like with yesterday, I'm just going to kind of go through there and offer some support and some ideas as to um, what's going on at home, maybe clarify some things or, or give you guys some options of what to do. Um, it says reading on day two, and it wants you to read a book of your choice. Um, I would recommend that students are reading the books that Miss Riley had them choose for their book reports and doing those book reports as part of this reading, um, not to do the additional reading on top of what it says on day two there, but to do their reading activities that they're required to do um, for Miss Riley. So we want them to be doing that. Uh, if you need help with that, she posted on Class Dojo um, in the mainstream um, what kids needed to take home and what they should be working on with that. So um, in math, it looks like we're going to be using the digits one to nine um, and at most just one time each. And then we're going to fill in these boxes to make a true statement. Um, it looks like you have some parentheses put in there. So um, order of operations is going to be the key here with the fourth grade content. Uh, I still remember in school learning the please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, um, where you did the parentheses and then exponents. Uh, multiplication, division, adding, and subtraction in that order. And so with that, I did some examples here, um, reminding myself of the please excuse uh, my dear Aunt Sally. But so I just put in those numbers from one to nine on this side and then came up with answer answers on the other side there. Um, so the biggest thing with this is I love that they chose one to make sure that you had to do multiplication. Um, I would say consistent, uh, consistently that Miss Lutz is, is always saying that um, multiplication is such an important part of, of what she's doing because it carries over not only to what's happening with multiplying fractions and then even into division and dividing fractions, but um, it's a huge building block as to the other stuff that's coming later. And so if students still have not done that, that's a great activity to do over this break. Really flashcard and practice those multiplication facts to memorize those um, and get much faster with that. So multiplication is for sure um, a big piece there um, with this order of operations. And then um, in social studies, it says create a six to eight question. Um, or six to eight questions around a topic. And then it gives you some options there, technology, culture, um, civic participation, uh, power of government, global connections. I mean, if, if we're connecting it to what's going on right now, students might be able to produce um, using like Google Slides, which is what we've done in the classroom, a really cool presentation um, that might center around a topic of, of their choice. Um, because right now, you know, there is a little bit of civic participation and following some of the guidelines of, of what's been given down for what we're needing to do. Um, and then uh, some of the things which is going on with the power of the government and, and what they're able to do and control uh, to help with our safety and some regulations. So there's some really interesting things I'd be interested to see and would love for students that are creating these to post those. Um, on their Google Drive and make these Google Drive accounts and, and to share those, um, that would be awesome. And then the last part um, with that is, it looks like art. Um, so practice storytelling with the prompt, once upon a time in a land far away. Um, when reading that, it made me immediately think of my love of Star Wars and um, just how that starts off and everything in the in introductory scroll when you have some stuff going on. Um, and so for me, I thought it would be interesting to, to say, you know, once upon a time in a land far, far away, um, we had a very special and unique uh, stormtrooper that was in the academy and was working extremely hard to be the best stormtrooper um, that he could be. Now, the unique thing about this stormtrooper was the fact that unlike all the other stormtroopers, he could actually hit the targets that he was aiming for. Um, because he was a, such a good shot, his nickname became The Bucket. And so, UK reference there, shout out Tyler Hero. So, um, so we have Bucket here that was completely impressing um, all the cadets and, and everyone that was in the academy and was going to graduate with honors. And what ended up happening, unfortunately for him, was um, the Battle of Jakku was, was going on just the week prior to his graduation, and with the defeat of the Empire, um, we then had down the pipeline came the Galactic Concordance, which unfortunately for Bucket uh, meant that he was no longer allowed to train and become a stormtrooper. Now, 
Bucket, with his unique skill set, definitely found out that very quickly many of his fellow classmates were going to now disperse and go to the outer rims and become mercenaries and work for gangsters and warlords, as we've seen now in The Mandalorian, but not Bucket, no. Bucket decided to take a different path, and so he was going to go to the Outer Realm, and he was going to work for good and hang out on planet X9295, which we have not yet, but I'm sure after watching this video, um, Dave Filoni uh, will definitely decide to create that planet and then uh, take us there at some point um, in the distant future to meet the Bucket and all of his wonderful um, exploits of chivalry and saving those less fortunate than himself and protecting them, which is a very unique thing for a stormtrooper to do. So yeah, so there is my um, create a random story, just throwing it out there for kids um, and my bucket. So, but again, as always parents, as you're working through these things, um, hopefully these videos are being helpful and encourage you, um, you guys at home to be doing things. Um, as always, if you all have questions, feel free to message me and ask me on Dojo. I'm happy to answer those. And in the coming days, more stuff will be coming down um, as we start to look at uh, the rest of the weeks, but then also what school might look like um, in the future if we continue to stay out. So hang in there. Um, if you need additional things or activities or um, additional stuff to work on, again, feel free to message and, and let us teachers know. We're happy to help out any way that we can. Have a great rest of the day.